Can we Pokemon only oh my God. For the longest time, I've wanted to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke, but there's just one problem with that. I'm really bad at video games. Like, it's not even funny. I don't even know why I'm that bad. I'm just really, really bad. And besides, Nuzlockers nowadays, they just don't get attached to their Pokemon. They just nickname them and use them as tools. It's not it's not the same as it used to be. So I decided to do a challenge that would solve both my problems. I can catch as many grab Pokemon as I like. The twist being that I have to name them and give them a backstory so when I travel with them, I get really attached to them. And when they die, it really sucks. So I start my journey like any other Pokemon journey at at home. I know myself Rat King, the king of all rats, the, the protector of all rat kind. I, I'm sorry. And name my rival Beta Rat because he's not the rat king. He's a, he's a beta because I'm an alpha, like the king rat to the bait. Yeah, you guys get it. And after that, I got my first Pokemon, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. He is not a rat. But you know, he's kind of nice though. I kind of like Bulbasaur. I mean, I know this is the challenge is only rats, but like, Come on, look at him. He's just, he's so, oh my gosh. So I just lose the first battle and he killed him. He killed Bulbasaur immediately. This, uh, this challenge is about rats, right? So, uh, I guess Bulbasaur wasn't technically supposed to even be there. So I go into the grass and catch my first real Pokemon, Jerry. And yes, he's the actor from the hit show, Tom and Jerry. Look at him. He's, I don't know, spitting image. And after Jerry, I catch a few more Pokemon like Jojo and Jojo is dead. Man, I uh, these guys are dropping like flies. <sighs> anyway, then I go in the grass and catch the rest of my team. Siwa, not a rat girl, yellow rat, goose D's, who is not a D's nuts joke. You guys get it? Cause, and Bertha, a loving mother of two who sadly both perished in the Pokemon war with Surge. I don't know why I smiled while saying that. So the first real rulebook of this challenge is the first gym, Brock. You see, Brock has rock and ground types, and rock and ground types resist normal and are immune to lightning. So I can't use yellow rat, and all my rats barely do any damage. So I made a plan to beat him. I would use tail whip, a move that lowers the opponent's defense by one as many times as I can, and then do as much damage as I can with hyper fang, the strongest move Rattata can learn at level 13. It's um, it was a fight. Here comes the judo, has tackle and harden. Try to do two tail ups. Yeah. All right, that's one. And now it's a six v one, but it's a powerful, powerful Pokemon. Don't die. Don't die. But that means I can't switch, right? I got crit. And I had to make a choice here. Do I save Jerry and let another Mon die? Or do I let Jerry take the hit and lose my first Mon? Bye, Jerry. Jerry died for the team. And let me tell you, the, the feeling of losing a Pokemon, it's it's weird. I, I know I lost two of those before, but like, Jerry was my first catch. It was He was special, and I won't forget him. Anyway, the, the journey continues, right? The next stop is Cerulean Cave. And as I go through the cave, I see a bunch of people wearing black shirts. And I don't really know what they're doing there. They say they're like Team Rocket. And I'm like, cool, um, that's a nice thing you're doing. And then they pull out their Pokemon. And it, is that a Rattata? The are calling the one Rat King alive. So they became my mortal enemies. The next gym up is Misty. And honestly, this is kind of a cakewalk. I mean, Yellow Rat is a Pikachu and Pikachu learns lighting type moves, which defeats Misty's water types. It's just a match made in- Way too much damage. Oh, please don't do it again. <gasps> no, Yellow Rat! Did it just crit Yellow Rat? Oh my gosh. Uh, The plan was to have Yellow Rat just sweep the gym. So now we have a new problem. Starmie is way faster than all my Pokemon and I cannot beat it in speed, but I have a move called quick attack, which does 40 power. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, so I just start launching rats at her and it went pretty well. Goose. Bertha. <laughs> Goodbye goose. Goodbye Siwa. Goodbye Bertha. Hope you can find your kids in heaven. And even though I feel a little bit bad for the death of all those mons, I kind of feel relieved that I beat the gym. It's kind of a really good, f what am I saying? I got cocky and my friends lost their lives. They're not tools, right? So I go in the bush and catch four more rats. Wait, is that Bertha's son? Uh, don't tell him about his mom. He, uh, he doesn't need to know about that. And right after I caught these Pokemon, the rival surprises me and we have to fight. Are you kidding me? What? And he kills Sims. Okay, so that's a, another rat down. So to replace Sims, I catch the chosen one, who is just the strongest and most best rat. It's basically just an HM slave that I decided to name the chosen one because it's chosen to just use cut for me. And on my way to the third gym, I met a guy named Bill who is, what the heck? Is that Clefairy? And after saving Bill from his mixed Pokemon 
horrific death. I don't know what to call that. And as thanks, he gives me a ticket for a battle festival on the SSN. And let me just tell you, I love to battle. So I get on that boat immediately and solo everyone. I'm just talking about women, children, old people, rival again, but I guess he's easier now. And does he have eradicate? Only one can survive. Did I just kill a rat? No, I'm not gonna think about that. And on that boat, every single rat evolved, except for the chosen one. Because once again, it is chosen to be an HM slave by me. I'm such a, I'm such a good trainer. I'm such a good trainer. And anyway, after the battle festival, I mean, come on, I sold everyone there. I entered gym number three. And let me just tell you, as soon as I went in there, my Pokeball for Johnny started trembling. Who, whose gym is this anyway? Oh, Surge. So apparently Surge was Johnny's old war lieutenant and Johnny has a lot of trauma from that war because of him. So I decided that now was the time to get over that freaking trauma. I mean, come on, what a little bit. No, I'm joking. I'm not, I'm not gonna use a cut. <laughs> but when I asked him if he wanted to switch out and let someone else handle this gym, he just looked at me with a newfound determination and said, nah, I'd win. And let me just tell you, Johnny did win. I mean, he did so well that he got through his trauma, he got through a para, and did a crit to beat the last Pokemon with only oh a quick gosh. attack. I mean, Johnny just soloed this gym. Let's go. And after Johnny got through all that trauma, we went back to Viridian Forest because Daddy needs himself a new Pikachu, baby! And I named this one Ratta Amaria. I did not say that right, and I did not spell that right. Look at that. that is... And after that, we went to Rock Cave, where lights go out. Rock Cave was literally filled with most of Geodudes and Onyxes, and I couldn't see a thing. It was like fighting a thousand Brocks. It was literally almost impossible. And finally, when I got out of that cave, I looked around and my Pokemon were all beat up and tired. And not a rat girl? Well, she was dead. The last of the OG squad is D's. Man, that's that's sad. And after stumbling my way through Rock Cave, I found the Lavender Tower. And I went in there and I met my rival who was, is he mourning someone? Anyway, Rata Amaria then just loaded the rival. I mean, was not a fight, was not a fight. Like he was not, and then I took that picture on the biggest, fattest winning streak and it died. Are you kidding me? I'm a good trainer, I'm a good trainer, I'm a good trainer. Next on the list was the fourth gym. And let me just tell you, that gym was one of the easiest things I ever did. I nothing really happened. Nothing of no. I I just I just cleaned that gym out like it was nothing. Apparently, grass type says good to everything. Who knew? I think I'm finally getting good enough to low diff every single gym I come in contact with. I mean, like, dude, I'm so good at this game now. And after this hot streak of a day, I decided to do some gambling. I mean, I'm feeling hot. I'm I can't gamble. I'm ten. Are you kidding me? <sighs> this is so stupid. This is so oh. Secret underground lair? Yes, I meant to find that. Oh, it's a Team Rocket base. Well, you know what that means. Time to cleanse! Yeah, it really wasn't that hard to do. Team Rocket is just really, really bad, and they don't know how to use rats correctly. Only I, as the Rat King, can do that. Who knew? And after the easiest cleansing of my life, I meet their leader, Giovanni. And let me just tell you, he wasn't that easy to beat. Wait, is that resistant? I'm gonna lose Hilda for nothing. Hilda, your Packers will not be forgotten. And even though I beat Giovanni, he took out Hilda. And Johnny lost a lot of the motivation he had. He never was the same after that. And after that, I took Johnny, and we both went to Lavender Tower to mourn all those who we lost. And it was right there that I decided that I would not let anyone else die in vain. I had become the Rat King, which is already my name, but like, it's, you get it, right? I'd be like actual the Rat King, but my name is, you guys get it. And after going up the tower some more, I found this old dude who's playing this really, really annoying flute. And he agreed to give me the flute if I took out some Team Rocket members, which, I mean, I, I do that for free, so like, freest flute of my life. And then I use this annoying flute to get the Snorlax that's sitting in the road out of my freaking way. Wow, he's annoying. And then I catch three more rats. Tata, Gerberata, which is, you guessed it, yellow rat in German, and Tom, who is Jerry's best friend. But since my party is full, I decided to put Tom in the box, you know, just for later. Then I go to fight gym number five, Koga. So when I enter the gym, I mean, it was a straight shot to Koga, and there is stupid, annoying, invisible walls. Oh, this game sometimes, man, it gets me. 
And I know after the fact that the walls were not actually invisible, it was just little white lines, but like, come on. Who's gonna look at the freaking ground and see tiny? And I had to fight every single trainer there and they just kept whittling down my mods. My PP was going down, my health was going down, but whatever, I get to Koga eventually. The first Mon Koga sends out is a coughing. And let me just tell you, that's a low diff. And then he sends out Muck. <laughs> you guys get it? Muck backwards is... It's and Muck's a Muck's an interesting fight, I guess. He's not a great Pokemon, but like I, I think he can do something. But hey, I've been low diffing everyone, and he just weakened these to almost no health. Let's just switch our D's and send out Johnny, okay? Johnny can No! Johnny! Johnny never was the same since his wife died. Okay. I must send in Tata and that's an Oko! Okay! What? Okay, he that Muck's kinda of destroying my team, but he is low, so I'm sending out Carla and Okay, Carl, one HP, are you kidding me? Whatever, j just finish him off and- Oh my gosh. He just heals Muck. That's so, that's so annoying. But it doesn't really matter, cause I can still easily kill the Muck and- Okay, that's okay, Carl's down. So, uh, this isn't going too well, but I can just use the chosen one to, to take the hit and heal these in the back. Are you kidding me? He heals Muck again, okay, okay, okay. That's not great. Um, this isn't great at all, uh, but I did heal D, so it should be, and he ran out of PP. I got cocky. I forgot to restore my PP. Oh my gosh. They're all dead. Wait, I have one more Pokemon. So I send out my German Pikachu. Now, normally I wouldn't even use this. Muck has been using the move Minimize, which makes him harder to hit. And he used it six times. So the chance of the hit with Thunder is close to zero. However, I believe in my Mon. Even though they all died, they're all still with me. Mons aren't tools. They're friends. So, with the belief in my minds, I believe my Pikachu to get one hit, the only hit it needs to defeat the Muck. I believe. I believe. And first see the flash, and then the thunder. Wait, it did absolutely nothing. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's, it's over. So, can you beat Pokemon with only rats? I, I don't know.